So I, I love talking about Hmong, pe Hmong people and their history uh, because I think it's incredible. And I think it relates re really well with uh, those of the LDS faith. Like we can kind of relate to their story because they were refugees and, and we're refugees. Uh, uh, we were refugees at a time. Um, so the Hmong people are originally from Southeastern Asia. And uh, I say originally because that's, that's where they are currently, and, and we don't really have a lot about their history because uh, their writing, they don't have a writing system, or at least they didn't until the 1970s. So as far as history goes, it's all legend and stories that's been passed down. And so for a long time, they didn't have a writing system. So legend goes that they used to be in China, right? And then they uh, migrated down to Southeastern Asia uh, and... Uh, they're kind of the mountain people uh, of Southeastern Asia, and they're farmers. And uh, they, uh, because they were the mountain people, they actually uh, knew the trails and things really well. So when Vietnam, the Vietnam War started, we as America, we went in and we allied ourselves with the Hmong people because they didn't like the, the Viet Cong and, and uh, the communists there uh, as well. And so... We went and we allied with them and recruited them to help us find down pilots because they knew the trails, they knew the Ho Chi Minh Trail, and they could go and they could help us. And they actually did a lot of good for us in the war. Um, but the Hmong people, or a lot of people, refer to it as the secret war because not a lot of people know that the, how much the Hmong really did for us. And so it's kind of sad, right? And then the saddest part is that when we pulled out of the Vietnam War, we, um, we, we kind of just left the Hmong people there to fend for themselves. And they were hunted by the communists in Laos, and and, and um, it uh, was really hard for them. A lot of a lot of Hmong people died. They ran for their lives across to uh, this river called the Mekong River, and they had to swim across this river. Right, and it was patrolled. They had to swim across to get to the other side, and you know, to Thailand. And when they were in Thailand, it wasn't much better because they were just in refugee camps. And actually, there's still a lot of Hmong people over there in refugee camps. And uh, eventually, America went back and realized that we just left all these people there. And so we ended up bringing a lot of them over here to America in the uh, late, 80, or late 70s, early 80s. And uh, bringing them here and, and giving them a place. And, and a lot of them were sponsored, uh, some, or not a lot, but some were sponsored in Utah by LDS families sponsored into America. And so some, a lot of them are familiar with the, the church. And... Um, so anyways, that's kind of their story and how a lot of them got here. So it's hard and, and you know, kind of sad, a lot, of, a lot of their stories that they would tell. But you know, it also builds a lot of humility, like in, just in the people in general. They're, they're very humble, and, and, but also very strong, very strong people. And, and so I'm grateful for their, their story, their history, and the type of people they are.